So I have a sandwich. It's lunchtime for me. So while I was sitting here to eat this, I thought that it's a good time for me to go ahead on and do this story time real quick because <laughs> what do y'all I tell y'all I have been delivering groceries with Walmart well with Spark for about two years now and I have never had a customer like this one y'all and welcome back to my channel i am renee and i am here today with a story time from walmart delivery this was the first for me and i've had a lot of people that that ask like in the comments and stuff like that they always say like what if you get a customer that has bad dogs what would you do in that situation and i never really thought about it because like i said i've been doing this for so long to the point where I've never had that issue. And I guess it goes back to where you deliver at because I do pick and choose where I want to deliver. And on this particular day, I did not. I just accepted it. Actually, it was in a batch order. I didn't think nothing of it because usually I try to Google where the address is. But on this particular day, I was just like, oh, okay. I knew what the first address was. So I just assumed that, okay, usually when you get a batch order, they pretty much just put the put the addresses like within the same proximity. So you're not driving that far from one location to the next. So I didn't even think nothing of it. I just accepted it and rolled on to Walmart. Okay. So I get to Walmart and everything is all loaded up. And I was like, the address that was given, I know where this location is, and it's kind of a little bit away from where I was, but I was like, how are they saying they are in this particular city? But I know for sure that that address is somewhere else. So I was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do this one. Maybe I should just cancel it. But me being who I am, I was like, no, because it's early in the morning, you know, it's probably an older person. And let me just try to get their items to them. So we got all, I got all loaded up. I'm getting ready to pull out of the Walmart parking lot. And I see the note that's in uh, the Spark app to let me know to give them a call when I'm on the way. I gave them a call and text them to let them know that, hey, based on the GPS, and I should be there in about 10 minutes. And I didn't get a response back and it was all good. I was like, okay, you know, they just know that I'm on the way. So I'm driving to this location. I'm driving, right? So as I'm driving, I'm like, they got ice cream. They had two tubs of ice cream, a diet Dr. Pepper and some solo cups, the little red solo cups that you have at a picnic or a cookout or something like that. They had those. So I was like, this is kind of strange for an eight o'clock order. You know, most of the time when I do an eight o'clock order is for food, it's not for dessert. And it was just a weird combination. But anyway, they um, text back and they were basically like, you know, make sure you knock on the door so that we can get the ice cream so before it melts. That's what the text said. So I was like, cool, all right. So I'm trucking along, I'm trucking along, I'm trucking along. And I get to where they say this address is. You know how when you're driving with um, with Google Maps, that's what I was using. Google Maps kept telling me, you're at your uh, destination. Your destination is on the left. You're at your destination. Your destination is on the left. So I'm looking to my left and I'm like, well, where do they live? Down in the um, chalk mine? Because that's where I was. I was on this road that was like a chalk mine. So I was like, okay, let me start over. Backed out, came back out, started from the beginning. Started Google back over because it was basically saying that I was already at the location. Started over again. And as soon as I put the address in, it kept saying, you have arrived. You have arrived. So I'm like, well, where do these people live? So 
so okay. Now I'm thinking, well, maybe it's some of the guys that drive um, the chalk mine trucks or, or tractors or whatever it is, because it was kind of like a area like that. So I was like, okay, no worries. Let me just try to get them on the phone to let them know that, hey, you know, I'm headed down this long gravel road. Are you going to be out front so that you can get your ice cream? Honey, it was not uh, nobody that was at work. This was a home that I still didn't see. So I did this three times. Got back on Google, kept putting the address in. It kept saying, you're at your location. You're at your location. Okay, cool. So I said, okay, forget this. I'm, I know this area, so let me just drive up a little further because sometimes Google is a little bit off. So I was like, okay, well, let me just drive up a little further and maybe, you know, it's, it may be a new um, development or whatever. So it may not pick up on Google right now. So I'm driving on up the road. I'm driving up the road and I'm hitting the 7200 block at this point because they lived at the 7600 block. So I'm like, okay, hmm, no, I need to go back this way like Google was telling me. So I'm going back. I get back to the same spot. It is nothing. Nothing but a big patch of grass and it was about this high from, it was like a jungle like this. It was a jungle. It was a jungle like that. So as I'm driving, it's a dog. It's two dogs out there. It's like a bulldog, a black bulldog, and then it's this brown dog that kind of looked like a bulldog, but it may be mixed with something. I don't know. So I'm driving along and they're chasing my car. Okay. I wonder who dogs these are. That's what I'm saying in my head. So I'm driving again and Google is saying, you know, you're at your destination. You have arrived. Still no house to the left, nothing to my right, but bushes and trees. So I call these people again, and then at this point, nobody answers the phone. So I was like, okay, cool. This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go back to Walmart with this because, you know, this ice cream is going to be milk by the time they get it. Because <laughs> I've been driving for a minute trying to find this house. So I'm driving down this gravel road again, you know, to turn around. And one of the, the truck drivers or whatever they are, they had saw my car, I guess, going back and forth trying to figure out what was going on so one of the guys was like hey you know do you need some help and i was like well did you order some groceries and he was like nah we didn't order any groceries back here and so he asking the rest of his co-workers i guess you know did they order any groceries and so everybody was like nah so he was getting ready to leave out and i was turning around to come back out and i was telling him that i'm looking for an address but google is telling me that i'm already at the address so he was like really so as he was standing outside his truck talking to me to try to help me out <laughs> the two dogs that i was just telling y'all that were chasing my car they come up like running up to him and he was like you know what i'm so tired of these dogs i don't know whose dogs these are um i'm gonna call animal shelters because they they keep people from getting out of their vehicles when they come up to the location where he worked and so, mind you, where he worked was like across the street or, you know, like across the way from like a junkyard for salvage vehicles. So I was like, people really be out here? And he was like, yeah, you know, they have to come out, like adjusters have to go out and, you know, do whatever they, whatever they have to do to vehicles. And some people do come out and get things out of their car. So I was like, oh, okay. So he was hopping back in his car because the dogs were pretty much like jumping like jumping at him and so he was like ma'am the best thing i can tell you to do is don't get out of your vehicle because these dogs they do this all the time so i was like oh well, you ain't gotta worry about that because your girl ain't getting out this car anyway with these dogs like this because i don't do dogs period period i don't do dogs sorry for the dog lovers but uh-uh honey no so in my car turned around i'm headed back out put the address back in again. By this time, I guess, well, I had told them what kind of car I was riding in. So I'm telling them, hey, look for this type of vehicle. So the guy, he calls me, whose groceries I have. So he calls me and he's, he sound young on the phone. So I'm like, okay. So he was telling me like, I told him, I said, well, I can't find your address. Can you come outside? 
and meet me so I can see you, you know, because where I am, Google is telling me that I'm here and I don't see a house. So where do you live, sir? And so he was like, well, I can't come because I'm bedridden. Okay. He was like, well, call my mama. So I was like, oh, okay. So this is a young, you know, a young, probably teenager. And so he want me to call his mama so she could come to the door and let me know that. Hey, we right here. So he's hollering and screaming up to the front, to the house, it, it, to the front of the house where his mama was. Hey, mama. Um, can you open the door so that the delivery driver can, can bring us our groceries? And so she is like. I can hear her in the background of the phone, and she's like, No, they need to bring it to the door like they said they would. So I'm like, but where is the door? That's the problem, ma'am, sir, mom, whoever you are. That's the problem. Where is the door? <laughs> so the guy who was on the in the truck that was supposed to help me find this location. He was like, so it is a location out here. Somebody actually has a house out here because he didn't even know. And he said they work here all the time. So I'm like, well, what do they live in a tent or something like that? Because these people literally got an address in this app. <laughs> so me and him both, he looking at the address like, you know, did you put it in right? So I asked the man on the phone because he's still on the phone. So I'm asking the guy on the phone, look, sir, is your address this, this, this? And he was like, yeah, it's a black mailbox on the side of the road right by the house. It's the first house on the left and it's green. For real? Where, sir? How, Sway? How? How is there a green house on the left with a black mailbox in front of it? I don't even see no house. You sure? Do you know where you live? Okay, so the guy who's helping me, he only he just took this on on his own because I didn't even ask him to help me. He just decided like, hey, I don't want you to get hurt by these dogs. So I'll just do whatever I can to help you get what you got to get to them. Okay, so I still have the guy on the phone who supposedly ordered this grocery. And he's like, yeah, once you come off of this highway and you look to your left immediately, you will see a black mailbox. So I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the spot where Google is telling me that I've arrived to the location. So I'm asking him, if you look out of your window, sir, can you see me? So I told him again what kind of car I was driving. He's like, no, I don't see you. Exactly. I know you don't see me because I don't see you seeing me. See you. Uh, what, what we doing? What are we doing? Oh, 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 So him and his mama, they fussing back on the back and forth on the phone. And I'm sitting here. Now I'm the most patient person when it comes to somebody's grocery because I know that I wouldn't want somebody to be playing around with my food because when it comes to food, honey, I gotta have that. So and it was early in the morning, so I was like, these people really want their groceries, even though it was just two big tubs of ice cream like they're about to have a birthday party, uh, some so solo cups, and a diet Dr Pepper. That's what they order was. Okay, so the guy is like, well, ma'am, I, I would suggest that you just take the order back to Walmart because I don't see anything. So I told him, me either. So well, the guy's like, no, please don't take it back because I really want to need my order. <laughs> so now I'm feeling bad for him. So I'm out there. So here come the dogs again. They at my truck. They're at the other gentleman that's with, that's helping me find them. So I asked him, I said, do you have some dogs? And he was like, yeah, I have a black, whatever kind of dog it was. And I have a brown dog. Those are my babies. You know, he, this is him talking on the phone to me. He was like, like, yeah, those are my babies, you know? Yeah. And so he was like, well, if you follow them. <laughs> Child, bye. He was like, if you follow them, they'll bring you here. But I'm already supposed to be here, according to Google. So what are they going to take me to? Y'all ain't finna kidnap the kid out here fooling around with some two tubs of ice cream, some Diet Dr. Pepper, and some red Solo cups. Ain't no cookout back there, and ain't no birthday cake. So what are we doing with this at 8 o'clock in the morning? What are y'all doing with this? Okay, so the dogs are bark, you know, jumping up at me and the guy. 
I'm inside my truck. He's standing outside his truck, but he's standing like on the tire wheel of his truck. So he's standing up on top, looking down at the dog, like, get, you know, go, 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 go. Dogs aren't moving. So the guy was like, Mama, will you open the door and try to get the dogs to come back this way so they'll know? Y'all, let me tell you, I hear this sound. This lady got a pan, like a, <laughs> like an aluminum pan or a stainless steel pan. And then I hear rustling like a dog food bag. And so the dogs just stopped doing what they were doing. And they turned around. So it was a patch. I was literally sitting right in front of the house. It was so many trees and shrubbery and everything around this house. It was camouflaged. I didn't even see it. I barely saw the mailbox. But let me tell y'all how the mailbox was looking. The mailbox was spray painted black it wasn't up on a post it was just like leaning down it was like leaning down like this so i never saw the mailbox at all never saw the mailbox I, I mean i wasn't looking for a mailbox to be on the ground so i hear the lady she's dinging the pan like or whatever the dogs name were you know they were calling them out so the dogs turn around they running through the through the jungle because that's what it looked like to me they running through the jungle over here and go back there to her house. So I told the guy, I said, okay, so let me tell you something. Now that I know where you are, I'm not getting out of my car with this grocery unless you can tame your dogs until I get done with the delivery. So he was like, well, my mama is in a, in a wheelchair. And he's bedridden. So I was like, my God. This was my first delivery of the day. It almost was my last one too. But I was like, you know what? You stronger than this. You, you got this girl. You got it. You got it. Strong like that. So I was like, okay, so who's going to be able to get the, who's going to hold the dogs until I get in? Because I'm not coming all the way back there in the jungle. I don't even know what's back there. It might be lions, tigers, bears. Who knows? I don't know. I ain't trying to be Jane of the jungle because I'm just not it. I'm here to deliver, not swing on vines to get it there. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, I said, well, if you can't tame your dogs, I'm not bringing your groceries. Well, we're just going to take this back to Walmart and I'm going to let them know. So the guy, the worker, he's still over here in his truck. And he was like, ma'am, don't go back there. Don't, don't go back there. And I'm looking at him like, oh, I'm not going to make that. So... The lady opens the door. She got the pan. She doing her little thing with the, for the dogs to come. <clears throat> and they go on through. So she was like, you better hurry up. This is how she's talking through the, through the, through the jungle entrance. You better hurry up if you're going to bring the groceries in here. So I'm like, well, dang, she kind of rude. You know, to be in the predicament that she's in. Well, I'm looking down through there. And I'm like, no, ain't no way. Guess what this lady was going to do after she saw me because, I mean, you see me. I guess she was mad because I was black and coming to her house. Guess what she said? Yeah. Well, I'm just as scared of you to be here at my house than you are, than you are being here. I'm afraid of you. And she t told the dogs. Sicker. Sicker. Guess what? No groceries for you. No groceries for your son. Son's still on the phone line. Mama, don't do that. Mama, don't do that. Stop that. Just hold the dogs. Honey, I politely told that man that was out there with me, like, look, huh, thank you, sir, for being right here with me, but I'm taking this back to Walmart. I took that stuff back to Walmart, honey. You ain't gonna sit out here and be in the predicament that you in. I'm providing a service for you. And I, I'm not gonna get out of my vehicle when you can't tame your dogs. And they already chasing everybody. The man has already confirmed that these are like wild dogs and they just be at everybody. They've chased my car, they chased his car. They won't even let him get down off his truck to get all the way back inside. You're in a wheelchair. You're, uh, she's really looking at her. She wasn't even that that old. But you're in a wheelchair. You can't hold both of these dogs while I come through your gate down this little slope back here in the jungle. While I bring you two tubs of ice cream, some Diet Dr. Pepper, and Solo Cups. Girl, 
So, long story short, they still got sent back to Walmart because I wasn't even having it. So, yeah, that was the <laughs> that was the one time that I have had like the worst Walmart delivery customer. First, you're going to basically be racist because you got a black woman that's coming up to bring you your groceries. That's one. And then two, you're going to tell your dogs to attack me? Girl, you won't eat no ice cream from now until whenever because I wish that Walmart had a do not deliver list. That address would definitely be on it. So, yeah. Your girl was out here about to get attacked by two dogs and the owner of the dogs. And then I was like, okay, so what if I would have went through this gate? Being that you already feeling some type of way because I'm black, I guess, showing up. Because what other reason did you have to say you're just afraid of me being at your home than I am of your dogs? Yeah. Girl, you better. That's why they ain't got no ice cream today. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video because your girl is back home safe. Getting ready to eat her a sandwich. While they still wait on that Neapolitan ice cream. That's not coming because I guarantee you the next driver they ain't gonna do all that I did because I try to go over and beyond to make sure you get what you gotta get, but you ain't gonna talk to me no any kind of way now. And then you ain't gonna have me out here just riding around like I'm out here in the in the, in the wilderness. No, no, sis, <laughs> ain't gonna work like that. So anyway, y'all be safe out there on that road while y'all delivering groceries. And if you don't feel safe, you know, you know, I just don't get it. But I gotta go. Thank y'all for tuning in to hear this horror story. <laughs> oh, and to add, I did stay on the rest of the day and all of the rest of my deliveries went smooth as a baby's bottom. Just like they always do. But it's always one. It's always one. So y'all be safe out there in these streets while y'all delivering this grocery. Thank y'all for tuning in and listening to this story. If you've made it this far, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, the notica notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos. Um, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Have you had anything like this to happen to you? Probably not. But what's the worst thing that has happened to you while you've been trying to deliver groceries? That's it. That's all. Y'all be safe. And I'm out.